hi guys uh, welcome to bit one grade so in this video uh, i'm going to talk about how to uh generate uh rsi which stands for uh relative strength index okay so uh this is a popular technical analysis index okay. so uh this uh this kind of uh index is used by trader who think that uh they can uh profit from uh studying price patterns in the past okay and uh, rsi is one of the most uh, popular technical analysis tools and uh basically uh what rsi strategy is that the uh, if rsi index is greater than 70 then uh uh you can consider that the market is uh overbought okay and it, since the uh, market is overbought uh you're recommended to uh, take a short position okay on the other hand on the other hand if the uh rsi is uh less than 30 okay then you can consider the market is oversold okay and you're recommended to take a long position okay so uh in this video uh i'm going to uh teach you how to generate this uh rsi for the stickers in finance future okay so uh and uh for your information you can add and you can you can uh you can see uh, rsi uh on the binance futures of market website okay and, and by uh clicking technical index here okay so uh okay uh let's uh let's go to the coding okay so okay okay, okay. So I, I think uh uh you get the idea of RSI, okay? So uh I'm going to start uh my code with uh, importing uh libraries first, okay? So uh I'm going to use uh, three libraries for uh this uh code. So uh, I'm going to import the request, pandas and time, okay? So uh you need to uh import these libraries first, okay? And uh, I'm going to uh, generate the RSI for IMX USDT, uh, and uh, I'm going to define symbol to be IMX USDT. Okay. And you can put uh, any ticker that you want uh, from uh, Binance Future. For example, if you want to generate RSI for uh, BTC USDT, then you put BTC USDT in a single quote. Okay. And the time interval uh, for this example uh will be uh 15 minutes so i i put a uh, time interval to be uh 15 okay then uh for our example uh for this example i'm going to uh repeat uh i'm going to ask the uh computer to generate the rsi 10 times okay so i i put uh this part uh this part in uh in a loop okay all right okay Okay, so uh, okay, okay. In order to uh generate RSI, we need uh uh K line, okay, K line information okay? or uh handle information, okay. So uh, uh I I I. I uploaded uh, uh, a, a video on how to get uh, candle information in uh, in another video. So uh, please uh, look at uh, my video in the past. So uh, so okay. So uh, I, I will define URL to be uh, this. Okay. So uh, it will be uh, 
single code. Maybe so. Uh, uh, so uh, you will you will uh, start with the HTTPS column slash slash f api dot finance dot com slash f api slash e one slash k lines question mark symbol equal uh single quote uh plus symbol uh in this case i uh this will be imax usdt and plus n interval equal uh to uh uh time interval in uh string format okay and plus m in single quote uh because uh, it will be uh in minute okay plus uh, end limit equal to 100 uh single code okay so uh, by uh request uh information from uh binance future using this url we can get the uh k line uh data for uh, imx usd from uh binance okay? and uh, i i will request the data to be in a json format okay? so data uh is equal to request dot get url uh in uh in parentheses dot json uh, parentheses okay. okay so i'm gonna uh i'm gonna uh transform the data we we get from uh binance in a data frame uh uh format uh, okay because i want to use the pandas okay to uh to refine the data okay and i'm going to define uh put the uh labels for uh columns that we get from for the data that we get from uh binance uh future server okay and uh i'm going to use the uh close uh data for uh my rsi okay and uh uh one important thing is that the you get uh data in a string format uh for uh for the data received from binance future so you need to uh change the format uh, uh type of data to a uh, float because uh we need to do some calculation okay okay so uh i'm going to define d2 is equal to uh the open square bracket in uh and uh, close in single quote and uh, close uh, uh square bracket and i'm going to use the period of 14 okay uh and the 14 is the uh, standard uh value for uh for uh rsi but uh, of course uh based on your research you can change it to uh other uh number okay and uh this part is the uh formula for uh, rsi so uh i'm not going to get into uh mathematics of uh calculating rsi because it is too complicated and uh i i'm, I'm focusing on the result that we get from uh this code okay so uh please uh take this part as granted uh for for now unless uh, you're interested in uh uh more uh details okay so if you put this part copy and paste this part okay then uh you're ready to generate the rsi okay and uh rsi is uh, will be uh finally calculated by using this formula okay uh this part will all uh, get uh will uh ask you to calculate the rs okay then if you plug this rs rs into here okay, then you get the find you, you finally get the rsi okay so 100 minus uh open parenthesis 100 div, uh, divide uh slash and uh open parenthesis one plus rs close parenthesis and uh, close parenthesis okay so uh this will give you a uh, uh, column of rsi okay so let's let's run this part okay okay So 
look at this okay so you get a list of RSI okay and because uh, in order to calculate the RSI you need uh, at least 14 uh, rows of uh, price data so uh, you, you're gonna look, notice that the uh, first uh, 13 uh, rows will be uh, there there will be no value for our uh, first 13 uh, RSI column okay but uh, we are interested in latest uh, RSI value so I'm going to uh, define the RSI to be RSI dot uh, ILC uh, open square bracket minus one close square bracket okay so the most the last last row okay we we focus on the last row okay so okay i'm going to do that okay and uh if you check it then the, you just get one value okay the the most recent one okay and for uh for uh visuality uh i'm going to round this up uh at the uh fourth digit okay so i'm going to round this okay. now now you get Okay, more uh, simplified value. Okay, and and uh, to to check whether I'm doing uh, things right, I'm going to print out RSI. Okay, and uh, let's see if uh, our RSI uh, is in line with uh, what we see from uh, finance futures uh, website. Okay, so uh, okay. So uh this will uh this this program will repeat this uh ten times, okay. Okay. So uh, I'm gonna run this. Okay, RSI is so thirty one two zero. Okay, thirty one seven seven one four. Okay, so uh, you can see that uh, our RSI uh is uh in line with uh what we see from uh uh live data on the binance futures okay so i think uh you can use uh value you get from uh this rsi uh program and uh you and when you uh, develop uh uh trading ball okay using based on uh, rsi okay so uh this is the end of uh, this uh, tutorial video and I hope uh, you find it uh, helpful and if you like this uh, video please uh, uh, press the uh, like button and uh, also uh, please uh, subscribe my channel. Uh, thank you for watching video and I'll come back with a more useful video. Thank you.